नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टीज लाइव फोन इन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम माई नेम इज तानवी खुराना एंड इन दिस मैथ्स क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ट्राइंगल्स पार्ट फाइव and if you have not seen the first four parts then i would request you to please watch it on our youtube channel if you have any questions any queries regarding this topic then please reach out to us share your questions you can mail us on our email id which is dth.class9@cite.nic.in you're watching us live on our pme vidya channel channel number 9 and all the ninth class students please keep your pen and paper ready because we'll be solving a few questions and that will be helpful and beneficial to all of you so we have an expert with us let me introduce her she is mrs beena prakash welcome ma'am thank you tanvi namaskar good afternoon everyone a very good afternoon to you to ma'am ma'am is a senior pgt in mathematics from campion school bhopal So let's begin this conversation and before beginning the fifth part of this topic which is triangles let me ask ma'am that what exactly did we learn in the fourth part ma'am can you just sum it up uh, in very brief yes definitely can be uh, we are actually dealing with the seventh chapter of ncert textbook that is triangles and uh, in the previous uh, classes that is in the four sessions Uh, I discussed about one part of triangle that is congruence of triangle. That is, when can we say the two triangles will overlap each other? What are the conditions required to get that the two triangles will be overlapping? So we were discussing about the congruence rule for the triangles. That is between two triangles. So we discussed about ASA, SAS, SSS, and the RHS here. Now this is the next part in the triangle. That's the last part we have. That is inequalities that is related to triangles. Now what all the inequalities do we see in this? So to start with, <coughs> the very first thing you can read in the screen now. Sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side. इसमें क्या लिखा है सम ऑफ एनी टू साइड आप कोई भी टू साइड लिखिए देखिए दिस इज द इनक्वालिटी एक्सप्रेशन है दैट ए बी प्लस बी सी आप मैंने ए बी एंड ए सी बी सी को ऐड किया ए बी एंड बी सी को ऐड किया दिस सम विल ऑलवेज बी ग्रेटर दैन द फर्स्ट साइड और व्हिच इज द कॉम्बिनेशन आप जो जो कॉम्बिनेशन की बी सी प्लस सी लोगे तो इट विल बी ग्रेटर दैन ए सी अगर आप ए बी प्लस ए सी लोगे तो इट विल बी ग्रेटर दैन बी सी इसको मैं थोड़ा सा इलस्ट्रेट करके बताती हूं Eight minutes. This is a new screen. Can you all see the screen? <coughs> Tell me, is the screen clear? Yes, ma'am, absolutely clear. And on the screen, it is written: sum of any two triangles is always greater than the third side. Okay. Now, you have seen a triangle. Yes. Clear, right? Yes. Now, see. Uh, can you read the measures on the sides? It may be very faded, but still, yes. I think I will read it out. Okay. One side measures four centimeter. The other side, CB, measures eight point nine eight, and the, the third side, AB, which measures eleven centimeter. Isn't it? Right. So there is something written on the screen. This this AC plus CB is greater than AB. AB. So AC's measure is four. CB's measure is eight point nine eight. So what is the sum of the two? It is twelve point something. Hmm. Isn't it better than eleven? The third side. It is. Yes. So now I'll I'll just show something here. See what is what can you read from the screen? Hmm. Uh, you are reading something. Something is changing. Yes, ma'am. If you see something changing, what is it? The so, value of BC, the side BC is changing. Hmm. The value of AC, the side AC, and the side AB is fixed, but there's a change in the side. BC. Can you read it? Yes. It is decreased. It is decreased. So point C is getting getting closer and closer to the line segment AB. Hmm. So what is the observation? The lesser, the sum of the two quantities that is four plus seven point three one is still greater than uh, the other yes. side. Exactly. It is still greater than eleven. It is still greater than still it's greater than no? Yes. Has, And it has come very closer, very closer, but still greater. Yes. But what do you observe? What do you observe now? 
now it's equal equal so what do you see but now it it's no more a triangle it's a line exactly exactly this is what the information is that is the moment the length of two sides sum of the length of two sides becomes equal to the third side mm. you won't see any triangle do you see any triangle no so this is what is the inequality that we have that is the sum of the two sides of a triangle is always any side you take up any combination it will always be the same thing i change moved b point so what do i see now it is ab is getting overlap over the line segment ac plus cbc it has become a straight line yeah so this is what the first theorem says that is the sum of two sides of a triangle any triangle any triangle any two sides the sum of it will always be greater than the third side so this part is clear i think yes ma'am now we move on to the next part. that is we have another theorem connected to this if two sides of a triangle are unequal we have two sides of the triangle unequal that is we are taking considering ab and ac so we all can see this relation that is ab the side ab is not equal to ac i am taking up this relation okay the angle opposite to the longer side let's see the angle okay so uh, like you can see on theorem 7.6 if two sides of a triangle are unequal then the angle opposite to longer side is greater and that's what our expert is trying to explain here i just hope that the earlier uh, theorem was very clear to you that the sum of two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third side and ma'am even showed it to you uh, while changing the sides of the triangle so if we'll solve the questions based on the same then uh, you'll be able to solve uh, the questions very easily and uh, it won't be a problem to you so if you have any questions any queries regarding this theorem only then please reach out to us if there is any question which you are unable to solve with the help of this theorem then please reach out hello. to us hello yes uh, we hello? have an expert with us and uh, let's just come to with what you have muted you have been a man was saying hello yes ma'am then we can you hear me ma'am ha na i can hear you okay so uh, there was some glitch uh, but we'll continue from where you left okay okay so what i was saying is the side ac we are like, we can very well see from this figure that is the side ac is greater than side ab you can compare the lengths yes okay now the side ac is angle opposite to it is angle abc whereas the side ab angle is the angle opposite to side ab is acb so you have to prove this relation that is the angle opposite to the longer side will be greater so how will we be proving it we will make use of one construction what is that construction will be marking a point d on ac will be marking a point d on ac such that a so in that case again there was some problem i think is it okay shall i continue yes ma'am please continue okay now what do we get from this triangle abd we have by construction ab and ad equal so uh, this was discussed in the previous session that is if two sides of a triangle are equal as you see here ab and ad are equal mm -hmm. the angles opposite to them will also be equal so that's the information that we have proved in the last class so we have taken up ab that the proof part ab and ad are equal by construction why we have taken this it's by construction because as i said proof we will have to explain every step so we are explaining why this length ab and ad are equal it is because of the construction that we have taken up so as per that construction we have the measure of angle 1 and angle 2 will be these two measures will be same now <coughs> let us see the angle 2 for the triangle bbc we have angle 2 as exterior this is exterior to it it is exterior to the angle bdc 
we have a relation and that relation says and if I name this as B and this as C, let me name this as D, we have a relation that is angle to the exterior angle is the sum of interior opposite angles. So if angle 2 which is exterior to it, exterior means the two together should be forming one entity. They are part of the straight line ADC. It's how they are reminding us the previous session's classes. ADC is a straight line at D that means the angle at D is 180 degrees. So the angle is measured together, angle 2 and angle T, D together measures 180 degrees. So they form a pair of adjacent angles. But for the triangle BDC, D is in the triangle and 2 is outside the triangle. So it's known as exterior. So how do we de define an exterior angle? The pair which makes the straight line that is supplementary but outside the triangle. That is how we need to define the exterior angle. So that was the part that we discussed before. Now as for this, so this angle 2 sub is the sum of angle B plus C. So the sum of two quantity that forms the angle 2. So won't it be greater than each one of us? That is each of these angles, angle B as well as angle C. It will definitely be greater than each one of us. So we have angle 2 greater than angle ACB. Now angle 2 greater than angle ACB. ACB is the part that we have on the left hand side of the proof. Just look at that expression. The left hand side of the proof. So we have a part of this. We are halfway. Now we, let's move further. Now how do we connect this angle 1 to the required angle, angle ABC? How can we connect it? Just increase the measure of angle 1. That is add to that angle some other angle to make that angle ABC. What is that you have to add? It is angle DBC that is angle B. So if you get, you know that a number, you have a number, if not that number is greater than 7, then don't we have this relation? That is you add, you add something to it, any number you add to it, it will still be greater than 7. The same thing I have mentioned here. Add something added to that angle will still be greater than ACB. So when you add that angle DBC, that makes an angle ABC. That is full angle ABC. So we have proved the result that angle ABC is greater than AC. So this is angles which are opposite, that is of the longer side has greater angle. Its converse says that a side opposite to greater angle will always be greater. So if you have two angles of a triangle and they are not equal, that means again they are not equal angles. So we have assumed that angle ABC, that is this full angle, can you see this? It's full of this angle. ABC is greater than ACB, the small angle. So that case, the side which is opposite to the angle A or angle B, what is it? It is AC. Side which is opposite to angle C, that's AB. That side AC will be greater than AB. Now to prove it, again we will go for the construction. The construction that we have is, we will mark a point D on AC. Here the point D is marked such that the angle DBC and angle DCB. D, B, C and D, C, B, they become equal. So these two angles are equal. So let's take up the proof. We get B, D equal to D, C. Now why is this equal? I have written by construction. But construction says something different. So why I have written this as reason for this statement to be true? Because in construction we make this point or we mark this point such a way that these two angles are equal. And when two angles of a triangle are equal, their sides opposite to them will also be equal. That is the isosceles triangle's property. So that's the reason why I have written this as its by construction. So we have BB equal to DC. These two lengths are equal. Now what I've done is I've added some quantity to both sides. AD, a same quantity is added to both sides. The equality sign will not change. We are adding AD. AD is this length of this part, AD. We have added to it. So when you, when you add it, you find that on one side, that is this side, if you look at this right side, PC plus AD, DC and
Okay, so um, as you can see, the given is angle ABC is greater than angle ACB. And we are trying to prove in this theorem that in any triangle, the side opposite to the greater angle is always longer. So if you will solve this equation uh, with the help of the triangle which is given, you will understand that uh, this theorem is actually true. So the, today we are learning about certain theorems related to triangles and uh, here uh, we are. What do we start? BD plus DA is nothing but AC. So we replace this BD plus DA by AC and we get it as AC greater than AC. So we have proved uh, that Bina the Bina side Bina. which is opposite to the greater angle will be greater. Angle which is opposite to the greater side Bina Bina. Also will uh, be greater. Bina Bina. Why? Uh, there was a technical glitch. So can you just go back uh, two minutes back and uh, then explain the same thing again? Okay, but I'll take them. Yeah. What we are doing is for any triangle, if we have the side opposite to greater angle, that is whichever angle is greater, we have to prove that that side is longer than the other side. So we are comparing the angle ABC with angle AC. Now it's very clear from this, angle ABC is greater than angle AC. So we have to prove that AC is greater than AB. So how we can take up is through this construction that is we have marked the point D on AC such that the angle DBC and DCB are equal. So we will be making this line segment BD in such a way that may be if BD may be equal to angle DCB. So with this construction we get to know the scope that is BD and DC are equal. BD and DC are equal that is because angles opposite to equal sides of any triangle will be equal of because of the isosceles triangle. Now after this I am adding same quantity AD. AD is added to both sides. To this equality sign I am adding AD to both sides. On adding AD to both sides one side of this expression DC plus, DC plus AD adds up to AC. Just see the length DC to that we are adding AD. So that is a part of AC. So they add up to AC. So we have the sum of BD plus AD as AC. So that is what we require for further things. So let us not go for the relation. In triangle ABD, we are taking the triangle ABD. We find that the sum of two sides BD and DA sum. Isn't it greater than AB? The first thing that we started with sum of two sides of the triangle is greater than the third side. Now what is the measure of BD and AD, BD plus AD, it is nothing but AC. So I replace this quantity BD plus AD by AC, that is from 1. So don't you have that inequality that is AC is greater than AB. AB. So right. we have, and I think it's okay now. Yes, ma'am. So now we move on to the now fixed book questions from exercise 7.4. Okay. This is one very important question that is. In any right angle triangle, we have to prove that the hypotenuse happens to be the longest side. This is one of the very important informations of a triangle. Okay. We very often come across this information. We need to remember it throughout now. My, my children, I think you will be remembering this fact. This is a fact which, will, which I am proving now. We have to pure life long. Just the mathematics use karein ye kahi bhi in geometry will be using it. Okay? Mm. Now how do we prove it? So we have got the last five minutes left. So uh, let's just do okay. this last question. Fine, fine. And the ABC jo hai, so measure 90 degree hai. So what we have to prove is AC happens to be the longest. That is AC. Kya dawa two sides kaun kaun si aapke AB or BC hai? AC is the long method, AC is greater than AB, AC is greater than BC. We have to prove that. So let us see now in triangle ABC, we have a relation that is the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. The sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now this is the measure of angle B is 90, value so what we get is angle A and C sum is 90 degree. That is any right angle triangle for any right angle triangle for any right angle triangle, it means 8 angle 90 degree hai for a triangle. Then the sum of the remaining two angles will always be complementary, that is 90 degree. Okay? So, now in this statement, you can see this relation. Angle A less than 90 degree. 
वो डिसीजन है बिकॉज दो नंबर्स को जोड़ के नाइन्टी बनाया है तो इंडिविजुअली दीज नंबर विल बी डेफिनेटली लेस देखिए टू प्लस थ्री इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू फाइव तो वो थ्री है टू लेस देन फाइव और थ्री लेस देन फाइव ये हमें रिलेशन मिलता है ना इससे एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग इज बिंग यूज दैट इज दो चीज दो एंगल से एडिशन इज नाइन्टी डिग्री सो इंडिविजुअली ईच एंगल इज मेजर विल बी लेस देन नाइन्टी So, आपके पास मेजर ऑफ एंगल ए इज लेस देन 90 डिग्री मेजर ऑफ एंगल ए में इस एंगल की बात कर रहे हैं एंड मेजर ऑफ एंगल 90 डिग्री मतलब आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द साइड सो जब हम यहां पर प्रूव द रिजल्ट साइड ऑपोजिट टू ग्रेटर एंगल कौन सा एंगल बड़ा है इसमें एंगल ए इज लेस देन एंगल बी सो एंगल बी के ऑपोजिट कौन सी साइड है ए सी द साइड ए सी इज करेस्पोंडिंग टू द एंगल बी So, angle uh, BC is the response to the angle A. So, this relation says that BC is less than AC. Likewise, angle C is less than angle B. C is on the side of the angle A. AB. Angle B is on the side of AC. So, we have proved that both the two other two sides of the triangle will definitely be lesser than the longer side, that is, hypotenuse AC. So the term that we have for the side which is opposite 90 degree is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the side which is opposite to 90 degree. Okay. So this is what we have as the first question. Let's move on to the next question. The next question says that, ma'am, could you give this question as homework to our students? I uh, will take up in the next and bind up. Sure. Sure. Okay. All right. So uh, today uh, we learned three theorems, and on the basis of that, we even solved one of the questions. So we'll continue this same topic again in the next session, and uh, Ma'am will be solving more questions. So you can save uh, those questions if you have any doubts. You can always share it to them uh, through our channel, through our um, YouTube channels chat box, and even our email ID, which is dth dot class nine at the rate ciet dot nic dot in. So here we are wrapping up this maths class. Thank you so much, ma'am, for being with us and for uh, clearing the concepts and uh, these particular three theorems in triangles concept. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, students. Thank you to all the viewers for watching this program, and I am sure you liked it. Uh, so here we are wrapping up this particular session, but we have another social science class which will be here very very soon, and the topic of discussion would be working of institutions part one. So stay here, keep your questions ready, and keep on watching PM Evidya channels. Thank you. Namaskar.